everyone. Welcome and thank you for stopping in. Some time ago, I shared with you a feature wall that my husband and I was working on and we didn't get to complete the wall. We broke a few of the mirrors and we both then got the flu. However, we've since been able to get it completed and I wanted to take you along as we picked out items and just to show you a little bit of how we put this wall together. So I showed my husband this picture that I had seen. He's the numbers guy. I told him what I wanted. He took measurements and I gave him an estimate of the size that I wanted the mirror to be. And he worked everything out and we headed out to Lowe's. Since I knew I would be painting the wood, it did not need to be an expensive wood. For the major layout, we chose a one by two. And for the framing around the mirrors, we chose half round wood. Now I am aware that a shortcut to this would be to paint the wood prior to actually uh, fixing it. But my husband was so excited, he wanted to get to cutting this wood out immediately and so I didn't stop him. Once we determined the size of the mirror, we then divided it by three. My husband again worked out all the figures, but I believe in order to get everything balanced, we decided how many inches would be on top of each mirror and how many inches would be to each side. We also cut out a piece of foam board to act as our mirror so that I could stand back and make sure it was the look that I wanted and that the distances on all sides would be equal. I knew I wanted a rectangle look, so in order to do this and the way our numbers worked out, the spaces on the side was larger than the spaces on the top and bottom of my mirrors. I believe the side spaces turned out to be about four inches on either side, and the space on the top and bottom was about two and a half, and we repeated this in each box. We used mirror glue to affix the mirrors. Now I'm a girl whose mind changes all the time, so I just put four dollops in each corner and a little bit in the center of the mirror because this mirror wall may come down at any time. So I didn't want to make too much of a mess if I did change my mind. The mirror glue worked pretty well and pretty quickly, so we just used a little painter's tape to hold it in place until we were certain that the mirrors were set. This was the progress that I came in on the other video and showed you guys. It was the bottom row that required some cutouts around outlets. This stopped us in our tracks a little bit, only because we cracked a few mirrors, we took a few wrong measurements, and then we got the flu. Now there are a lot of things right here on YouTube that will show you how you can cut outlets or openings into glass. And we actually tried that, but we broke so many we just said forget it, and we took the pieces that required the cutouts to our local glass company, and they did the outlet openings for us. So then finally we were both over the flu and we were ready to get back to this project because even in the beginning stages we just knew it would be something very special in this room so we couldn't wait to see the completed product. If you follow me on Instagram you know that I thought I was being a wise guy when I mentioned to my husband that if he'd do all the tedious taping I would do the painting. I kind of like to do the little tedious parts of painting and it's not a big deal for me, but it was a lot. So if you're more patient than we are, I would recommend that you paint your wood pieces prior to cutting and applying. Here's the inspiration wall that our wall was created from. I've seen this wall done in several ways on Instagram and Pinterest. I've seen it where it was white on white. I've seen where the mirrors are more of a horizontal. Uh, there are so many things you can do to make it beautiful and make it your own. 
And here's a look at our wall. We absolutely love the way that it came out. As you can see, the light just bounces around this room that had become quite heavy and dark due to the dark heavy furnishings that I have in here, but now it is light and airy. And even though I plan on doing some updates in this room and lightening up some of the furniture pieces, etc., it already feels so much more open, a little less heavy, light, airy. We absolutely love it. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. If there are any questions, please feel free to comment down below. And I hope that maybe you got some ideas that you can use for your own. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Once again, thanks for watching. This is Karen T saying so long for now.